We will talk about nail changes, different types of nail changes and their underlying causes. First is brittle and cracking nails. It's very common condition, especially among women, and usually it's caused by iron deficiency anemia because women usually lose iron via menstruation and iron deficiency anemia is very common and it causes disruption of normal um, strong nails and iron deficiency is first most common cause of brittle nails nails second most common cause is zinc deficiency and protein deficiency sometimes b7 or biotin deficiency also but uh, many foods contain biotin that's why biotin deficiency is not common uh, more common is iron deficiency zinc deficiency and sometimes protein deficiency vertical ridges is another cause uh, and vertical ridges usually means vitamin b12 deficiency but uh, vertical ridges chances increase over age and it can be part of normal aging process but sometimes it can be caused by vitamin b12 deficiency zinc deficiency and sometimes psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis also so autoimmune disease also can cause vertical ridges on the nails but usually it's because of vitamin b12 deficiency or just normal aging or zinc deficiency and white spots white spots is very common and widespread usually it's very harmless and it, it it's because of minor damages of nail bed but it can be caused by zinc deficiency and nutritional deficiency especially it's important among children you know, who have uh, active growth pace and at this case white uh, this white spot can indicate nutritional deficiency and it can cause growth problems that's why we should pay attention white spots among children and onychomycosis is another cause uh, yellow thick and crumbling nails uh, it is usually caused by fungal infection fungal infection is important because it's very difficult to treat uh, fungal infection. It needs, requires prolonged treatment. And uh, if left untreated, it will spread to other nails also. That's why fungal infection is not worthy. And nail separation from nail bed. It also, in many cases, caused by fungal infection or psoriasis. And yellow nails also in many cases because of fungal infection or psoriasis this yellow nails uh, nail separation from nail bed and onychomycosis can be sign of uh, fungal infection in most cases and sometimes it can be sign of psoriasis terry's nail is another uh, condition which means there is mostly white uh, nail is mostly white and we have some uh, pink part uh, at the tip this is a teres nail and teres nail indicates kidney failure or liver disease usually it's because of liver problems and sometimes it's because of kidney problems and another condition is both lines both lines means some horizontal indentation of nails and it happens usually when there is temporary disruption of nail growth and it happens when our body fights severe infection for example COVID-19 and uh, there's less resources for nail growth that's why we have this some um, uh, horizontal indentations and it, it's sign of severe infection or diabetes or peripheral vasculopathy sometimes and spoon nails is another um, problem and spoon nails uh, when nails appear scooped out and it uh, defines usually iron deficiency 
or sometimes iron overload, sometimes celiac disease, and sometimes heart disease. And nail pitting. Nail pitting is another condition. It means uh, depressions in the nail, such depressions uh, in the nail, and it's usually caused by psoriasis, sometimes alopecia areata or other autoimmune disease. So these small depressions in the nails usually sign of autoimmune processes, autoimmune disease. And another is ingrown nails. Ingrown nails means there is painful condition when nail grows into surrounding tissues and it, it happens because of wearing shoes that are too tight or because of trauma and it's painful condition and um, clubbed nails club nails means uh, when uh, fingertips becomes enlarged over time and fingernails appear larger you can see here and it is caused by lung disease usually because of lung disease this uh, clubbed nails sometimes it's because of heart disease also uh, and it, it's sign of long term and prolonged hypoxia and dark streaks and uh, dark streaks can be caused by two uh, causes one is harmless it's when person gets trauma and it's just a bruise and it will go away over time over time it's not problem and second is more problematic if it grow over time it can be melanoma melanoma is cancer so uh, skin cancer uh, that's why if there is dark streaks um, under the nail which grows over time it requires uh, tr uh, treatment and requires attention as soon as possible that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.